I haven't been here since that happened. To understand her story, I didn't think I can handle coming here. You'd have to stand in Cherie Braxton's shoes. Wow. Here at the corner of Bellevue and Chevy Chase. You know, I've passed it on Brook Road just, just looking down this way, but to come this far, no. Where Braxton had the scariest experience of her life. This street didn't do it, I'm just, I don't like it. This is a bad place in my life. It was the night of April 14th, 2015. Braxton, behind the wheel of a GRTC bus, thought she made her last stop. Now headed back to the garage, when she got into an argument with a passenger. I didn't know him. That was not my regular route. He wasn't anybody I have ever seen. You? CBS 6 obtained this surveillance video of the encounter. Two men still on the bus wanted to know why it was headed in a different direction. Braxton pulls over, telling them that they can either get off or continue riding to the garage. But her conversation with one of the men, Maurice Mason, turns into a confrontation. He continued to argue, you know, cursing, told me I was nasty. Braxton tells Mason to get off her bus, to which Mason responds that he is not going anywhere and she would have to move him. Braxton tries to close the doors. Mason forces them back open. He then insults Braxton with a vulgar word. At this point, she gets out of her seat. Get up, do something. Get up, get up, do something. This is in my mind. The two exchange heated words. Braxton pushes a panic button, which is supposed to alert a GRTC supervisor that there's a problem. Mason starts to dig into his pocket. Honestly, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know if he was gonna punch me. I didn't know if he had a gun. Braxton grabs her purse, which contains a stun gun. Feeling threatened, she points the weapon at Mason and activates it. I hadn't charged it or anything, and it came on. But he was still going at me like I saw his body move. Soon as he did, I went again. Mason then slashes Braxton in the arm with a hunting knife before jumping off the bus and spitting at her. She closes the doors. And I'm seeing all this blood. My flesh was open all the way to the bone, just wide open. Mason appears to kick the bus doors twice before walking away. In the video, you can see and hear Braxton press the panic button multiple times, but says that no supervisor ever answered. Do you feel lucky to be alive? I am so blessed, Sandra, to be alive because had I died, nobody could tell this story. Maurice Mason was arrested the next day and later convicted of malicious wounding. While violent attacks on city buses are rare, Caution. we found that over the past three years, there have been six reports of bus drivers being punched and spat on. One even had a knife held to their throat. So you need to constantly be on alert. We sat down with GRTC Communications Director Carrie Rose Pace. We questioned how bus drivers are trained to deal with unruly and potentially dangerous passengers. They're taught very specific things like you stay in your seat, you don't turn your body toward the person who's agitated. You want to keep your body calm and composed, and you want to continue to interact with that passenger in as normal of a capacity as possible. GRTC also has multiple security cameras on every bus. Would you say that bus drivers are safe on their routes? Yes, we would say that they are safe on their routes. Why? We think that the incident rain itself shows that we operate safely. In 2011, GRTC hired off-duty police officers as transportation supervisor employees to monitor passengers on city buses. But it ended. The reason? Money. As of right now, GRTC does not have funding available for there to be a startup of a transit police force or sustainability of a transit police force. And we wanted to know about bus drivers carrying weapons, like Cherie Braxton's stun gun. That's actually against the rules agreed to by both GRTC and the union. Has there been a request to change that policy to allow bus drivers more protection on buses? There has not. The fear, I'm still trying to shake it. Braxton's attacker, Maurice Mason, is currently serving a two-year sentence at the Richmond City Jail. Could you ever forgive him? Yes. But the scar he left behind and the memory of that night will haunt her forever. I hope I never have to come down this road ever again.
It changed my whole life.